I'm going to go through a few different examples of some functions we might see for our potential. So through the next couple of weeks of the class, we'll be looking at some specific systems, and it's helpful right now to just understand when we're working with the general form of the Schrodinger equation, what might these v of x look like. And initially we're going to start with one-dimensional systems, but eventually we can get to two-dimensional and three-dimensional systems. So the simplest thing we can have is that v of x equals zero for all x. And this is going to correspond to a free particle. Now, the caveat is that this is actually going to be kind of a special case to calculate. So we're not necessarily going to start with that. What we're going to have, and there's a few different uh, ways to write this, is that we're going to have v of x equals v naught. And we could write this, for instance, as x is greater than negative a over 2 and less than positive a over 2, or 0 to l. And then it is infinity elsewhere. What would that look like? That would look like if I have, oops, pardon me, mistake. It goes to infinity, our potential, and then over some region, it's a v naught, which maybe we set that equal to, to zero. And so this would be x equals zero. We have x equals positive a over two, and then minus a over two. So this is going to be our infinite square well. And that idea being that once you're outside of it, the potential is infinite. It's like a, a solid blocked wall. So a different version, is that we have some region, and I'll just keep it consistent and call it uh, negative a over 2, a over 2, where this is, for instance, v0 and then v1 elsewhere. So this is going to be our non-infinite square well. So again, we have some region, but here we have v1, and here we have v0, and again, this is going from negative a over 2 to positive a over 2, or 0 to l. Um, make it really clear what your coordinate convention is, because mathematically it will look a little bit different, but the wave function will look different. So this is the infinite well, this is the finite well, and we will in fact get different wave functions because we have different, um, uh, different potentials. So another example is going to be the harmonic oscillator. And so that would be kx squared, or we can write that slightly differently, um, where maybe you have it centered at a different value. But so if this is x equals 0, we then have this kind of um, parabola shape, right? So again, v is what I'm plotting on this horizontal axis in each case. So this is going to be my harmonic oscillator. There are some really special tools that we can use to deal with that. Um, so we're not necessarily going to see it right away. It comes up a lot in physical systems, since really any complicated potential shape that has a local minimum can be approximated this way. Um, then, so, so here's some, some simple ones, 1D. We then get into, for instance, V of R. So starting to think in a radial direction. And so one example would be, for instance, negative k over r. This would be the potential from a point charge. So once we're starting to do this, though, we need to think about, OK, you know, it's negative. So as r goes to infinity, this is going to go to 0. So our potential looks like this, right? So we have this potential here. And so we then, again, are going to have bound states, this idea being that our for a certain energy, say below V1, we'll have a bound state. Here again, we have a bound energy. So in this case, I only start at R equals zero because it's radial. But you can imagine, okay, now this is going to change a little bit when we move into a three-dimensional version of it. So these are just some simple examples. We would plug them into that Schrodinger equation where you have that V of X term and you're going to have different things happen. So we have to really define a potential to specify what the wave functions are. And for these five cases that I've written out, four plots and then the free particle, you get five different wave functions. So the potential is what's happening in your system and it's not something that you can ignore. Always start by figuring out for the system I'm looking at, what is my potential? 
and then you can start working the problem from there.